Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system loop. This topic will be on basics of safety instrumented system SIS sensors. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. What are SIS sensors? SIS sensors used to detect process parameters such as pressure, temperature, flow, and electrical signals such as power, current, and analyzer signals from gas chromatograph, oxygen, and CO2 analysis. SIS sensors in a safety instrumented system measure process variable conditions in order to recognize a potential hazard. Usually, these are the same process variables that are used for control measured by different sensors. In the process piping or an equipment, there are multiple sensors. One set of sensors being used for the control application only to control the process and whereas the SIS sensors will be in the same location, same application, but they are being measured by a different set of sensors. Most important consideration when selecting SIS sensors for safety application is that they accurately and reliably measure the process variable. This is the most critical one. Whenever the SIS sensors are being used in the process, selection of the sensors should be in such a way that they measure process parameter very accurately and as well as reliably because the repeatability of the measurement is an another criteria need to ensure that those sensors are being quite rugged and having a long life for the accurate measurement of the process. That's why in the safety instrumented system, there are some proof testing requirement. Any process wetted materials must be compatible with the chemicals of the process. In chemical and petrochemical industries, there are several chemicals being used which are having more toxicity and some chemicals being capable of corroding the sensor part. So, the sensor part, the body of the sensor material has to be selected accordingly and to ensure that any chemical being used in the process should not hamper the measurement. Some case stainless steel sensors or stainless steel body is being used as a sensor. Instead, we will go with the tantalum or other materials which are having very high temperature standing capacity or proven for chemical applications. Typical safety instrumented system sensor usage. This data is being collected from 2020 by an agency in the United Kingdom, which is for the health safety environment system of the United Kingdom. So, this is the overall population of safety instrumented sensor being used in the process industries. Here we can see a pie chart showing the portion of distribution as well as the chart. Pressure transmitters are the most uh, highest quantity being used, which is having a population of 38 percentage. Temperature sensors around 19, level sensors around 15 percentage, flow sensors around 14, gas detection sensors like analyzer signals and uh, gas chromatograph signals, those kind of sensors around 6 percentage. Flame detection system sensors are around 8 percentage. Uh, here the electrical signals are missing, but usually they used to be very negligible, about 1 percentage population. This is a generic data uh, across the industry for the safety instrumented system application. Uh, here we are seeing one logic table, truth table for the typical 2 out of 3 safety instrument sensor voting. We are again and again seeing about uh, the type of voting and other thing. Whenever the process requirement is uh, very high accuracy requirement based on the process and uh, the size of the equipment being protected, size of the vessel being protected like an reboiler equipment, like a distillation column or uh, like high pressure piping which is being protected against the hazard by safety instrumented systems. There will be three transmitters to measure the pressure if it is a vessel, it could be a level or if it could be a temperature. 
and like that different flight kind of measurements what are we saw earlier there will be three different sensors on the same process line to ensure that two out of the three sensors going to high level or high pressure high high temperature this is to ensure that there is no uh, tripping or uh, safety action being taken whenever a particular instrument going falls just to ensure that instrument reliability is quite high and for the safe operation of the plants so this is a small truth table people who are done the electronics subject or instrumented subject they should be quite aware of this logic gates this is an and gate and this is an or gate in this case whenever it is a two out of three voting two sensors x y z are considered to be three different sensors and b is the output and whenever two sensors like here this case y and z going high the output will be one this is a, a simple logic truth table safety is being handled and protected the equipment is protected suitably in a safe way according to the process requirement some cases it could be two out of two some cases it, it could be one out of one at all these are all votings are all depending upon the process requirement which will be decided by the process safety experts and the safety design experts etc during the design of the process sensor diagnostics this is an another important requirement to ensure that a safety instrumented system sensors are being working quite reliably and accurately some sensors designed for safety instrumented system applications typically have built in automatic diagnostics that attribute is one of the main advantage of sensors designed per iec standard iec standards mandates having self diagnostics kind of sensors in the safety instrumented system application are quite important and critical for the process requirement smart meter verification overview this is actually provided by one manufacturer known as emerson they are providing an additional electronic board in the same sensor to ensure that the diagnostics and meter is being functioning perfectly this is being used for some flow measurements and inline flow measurements like ultrasonic flow measurement type of transmitters having this facility smart meter verification which is known as sme enables to check flow meters held without taking the flow meter out of process normally the safety instrumented system sensors are always functioning like in the earlier slide what we saw is a uh, two out of three sensors voting maybe in this case only one sensor can be kept out by doing a necessary bypass in the system logic whenever the instrument is an inline instrument it is not possible to remove the transmitter and take it to the workshop to do the calibration and testing so for those kind of instruments emerson is own manufacturer is providing a smart meter verification kit smart meter verification helps to detect the tube build up and the potential instrument damage actually this is about the flow meters as i was telling sometimes there are uh, process chemicals or uh, process liquids or gas being used may form an a deposit inside the tube so this smv will help to detect if there are any build up smv performs a traceable calibration verification with a patented tube integrity diagnostic to ensure mechanical stiffness of the flow tubes these are all basically for the mass flow meters so the smv can perform a internal calibration to ensure that the tubes are not choked or something okay usage of smv provides early detection of instrument damage before it creates a safety risk or accuracy shift as i told reliability of the instrument should be very high whenever it is used from the safety instrument system application this smv helps to make an early detection because it is doing self diagnostics always this traceable calibration verification as well as verification of all electrical components is included as a standard feature actually this is a statement from the manufacturer emerson internal calibration verification this is doing verification of the flow tubes as well as the electronics which is in the available in the sensor Uh, whenever uh, customers are buying the uh, sensors with the 
smart meter verification they ensure that the integrity of these components are being checked the sys sensors are always uh, quite reliable and uh, used for the safety and protection of the plants but always there are chances that some may fail so there are some concerns about the safety instrumented system sensors as well so what are the concerns we will just go over quickly it is advisable to select safety instrumented system sensors with seal certification seal certification is being given by some agencies we saw in an earlier presentation they are known as tuv exida iso etc so it is uh, preferable to go with the seal certification whenever it is used in the safety instrumented system application but however do not select instruments only because they are seal certified actual site performance is the most crucial based on prior use considerations the seal certifications are not to be proven one because the certificate is being provided by the agency and the application is quite different uh, one plant in one part of the world is having a very cold condition and uh, ambient is very cold and the atmosphere is very clean instruments can work perfectly without any issue whereas the same instrument being used in the other part of the world uh, where the humidity conditions are quite high temperature conditions are quite high it may not prove to be uh, working successfully there could be some issues 90 90% 95% could be fine but there are some chances that the same instrument which is used in one part one part of the globe cannot be very good in the other part of the world that could be not 100% that could be so wherever the uh, certif- even though we have the certification it is good to check that particular type of instrument has been used in the particular plant in this zone or in this area and has been working uh, without any troubles so this is known as prior use it could be for the same plant it could be for a, a different plant which is having a similar kind of process for level and flow where many different types of measurement technology exists and hence the site conditions like weather ambient conditions pose a critical challenge and like especially for the level applications there could be some capillary tubes bringing the level measurement and there could be some fill fluid so it may get hardened with the cold weather some part of the globe we know the weather is quite chill it is going sub zero temperature and whereas in the other part of the world the temperature is going 50 plus 60 degree and all so internal chemical components may get uh, either choked or it get solidified too much so and this one and as well as the weather conditions uh, um ambient conditions the some part of the globe the ambient is always quite clean and the atmosphere is quite clean and the, even the pollution control is being uh, done very thoroughly so that no pollution happens and uh, does not damage the humans surrounding whereas in the other part the atmosphere itself may not be very clean which may also pose a threat for the good measurement of the level or flow so for the right technology some manufacturers has done a complete iec 61508 assessment this is a international standard so some manufacturers are doing this assessment as per this um, standard then that product might have a considerable advantage this has to be analyzed thoroughly before selecting the sys instrumentation as i told one particular type of instrument and measurement which is being used in one of the plant in for example in america cannot be exactly having the same kind of um, same kind of repeatability whenever it is being used in the other part of the like asian continents wherever the temperatures are, are very high so this is also a critical concern that sometimes sensors may not behave as good as behaves in a different plant so these are all the some challenges to be taken care while selecting the safety instrumented system sensors so uh, these are all the few concerns this will be corrected or this will be understood very well over the continuous usage and applications and uh, by experts in that particular region who are having quite knowledge on the type of sensors type of application being used etc to have a good selection of the uh, safety instrument system sensors for use in the right application
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു